Okay, we got some untangling done. Boy, did we have some tangles in this one. Here's this little scarf necklace with little uh, swirly hearts at the end. Beautiful glass peacock beads. And you have some pearl peacock colored colored beads. More glass beads. And this is the very top. So that's very pretty. The next one we have with this stone. We've got a stone clasp here. This looks like carnelian to me. No, it's glass. I can tell by that. That's glass. These are stone chips. Multi-stranded. Very pretty. This right here is very unusual. It looks like uh, corn to me. Kernels of corn on a leather strap and a beautiful blue color just in time for fall hay rides and it feels very good I think it's very cool yep yeah, that's what it is kernels of corn I know isn't that cool Here is a wonder if we get blue popcorn out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Crucifix. I'm sorry. That my blank my blank my, my brain. My blank went brain. <laughs> uh, this is a rosary. Oh, it's going to be one of those mornings. I didn't sleep well last night. I had too many foot cramps. And that affected your brain, huh? Yes, I don't know, <laughs> but it did. Trust me, it did. Here's a pretty necklace. It is a premier design. It's in this, got an extender with a bead, lobster claw clasp, and it's a blue suede, teal blue. Beautiful. Did we not have a pendant? Or did you even look? I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for it. No, you weren't. No, I'm no. just asking. For what? I don't know. How would that look on it? Mm. He's cute. <laughs> little charm. Little whale charm. Isn't it precious? Just gonna, for fun. Isn't that cute? And you know what? We have some more charms. We have a cupcake. We have a... Ooh. That might be stone in that. That's pretty. Oh, yeah. Him? He's not a charm. This one's a charm. Why isn't that a charm? Well, it's a charm, but it's not a hook-on charm like these. These oh. have a clasp where you can hook it on. Anyway, we are going to put this necklace separate. It's cute. What? Oh, I know he is here. And since we got the charms out, we're going to put these charms together. You have a well, a smiley face that's got pointers, a little box. Oh, it's got a little heart inside. Doesn't close well. And a little cupcake with hearts. Very cute set. We have these. Um, and we're going to do these later because I want to test something. Let's get the necklaces done. Okay. And the bonus hair. No, that ain't string. hair. That's string. That's a price tag stringy. Price track tag snipper. stringy. I want a remover. snipper. Still got some on there. You give it to me because I need to get it. Okay. Not too far in the distance for you to see. Cut that close. Still got all your fingers, don't you? I said for you. No. <laughs> 
Here's a charm necklace. It's got fish and alligators and dolphins and roosters and bare feet and elephants and deer and a rent, no a key, and a Nefertiti. It's got everything, sailboats, ducks. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Looks like a cat or cat or dog, I can't tell. But yeah, it's a charm necklace. Has a spring ring clasp. I don't know if it's got any markings on it or not. It's hard to see. It's got a the chain is silvery, a darkened silver, like it's silver that's tarnished. Let's see. Right in front of me. Slightly magnetic. Some of the charms are magnetic, some are not. So, I'm not going to test all of them, but I do want to loop this. I know, he's so waiting for me to hurry up, hurry up. The pool's going to be overflowing by the time we get done with this one necklace. Nope, no marks. There you go. Next is a enamel and rhinestone floral. Here's the back. It's in good shape. It's on a brassy looking necklace. Lobster claw clasp. Looks brassy. And there's your extender with the bead. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. It just looks too colored to me. This, the uh, chain looks like it's... Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. I have just another little ribbon thing, a uh, chain. I'll put it over here. Okay. So I can't find it later when I need it. These were a terrible tangled mess last night. There's a curved bar with little opalescent stones in it. Here's the back. I don't see any marks. Nice chain, gold tone. Lobster claw clasp with a long extender. It's very pretty. See if it's magnetic. The chain is, the bar's not. Let's see if it's. Those almost look like opals in there. They're so pretty. I think it's opalite, but I could be wrong. see copper coming through so this is I'm looking for marks no marks I'll give you a closer look at the stones here they're very pretty they're prettier in person there you go honey Next one is this one, Statement Necklace. It's got an extender with a bead, beautiful end caps. These look like shoelaces to me, but this is very pretty. It's, the way it's done is beautiful. And then here's this part. None of the rhinestones are missing. You've got round cuts, marquee and bagot cuts, and square. Here's the back again that same kind of look very pretty very well done glass beads up here very beautiful blue color the 
And next we have is a beautiful heart. It's very ornate. There's the back. I'm looking for marks. I don't see any on this chain. This looks like a chain from Korea, so it's vintage. That's what it says. We can't read it. <clears throat> yes, Korea. That's what it says. So it's a vintage Korean chain made to look like gold. The heart on that's beautiful and it's very lightweight. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't gold, but it's magnetic. Top's not. The sides where it's melted together is, so I'm gonna rub the top and see what I get. No, I see a copper, so it's gold over copper. Very pretty heart. We have another nice chain. This could be used to put those little charms on. It's got a spring ring clasp. Also could be used for him. Don't you think? Don't you think that looks good? Oh, yeah. I think right. I should fix it right now. Okay, that chain didn't work. It was too thick for the bell here, this little jump ring. So we're just going to put that in a bag by itself as a pendant. Oh, don't tell me you found something. No, it's too thick and okay. it's too dark. Okay. Okay, here you go. Next necklace we have is called Life Inside Out. A guitar pick, a very pretty guitar pick. Here's the other side. On a chain, a very long chain. It is, ooh, let's use our new ruler. I like it. It is 30 inches. It's called Life Inside Out. The next is a cute little lobster claw class Rolo chain, Minnie Mouse, little necklace, very cute. The next is a little spring wing class extender. Well, it looks like a extender with a chain, but really there's no. They just finished off the end with a bead, and. It's a little Christmas brace, a necklace with Santa Claus, snowman, and a reindeer. Very cute. The next is one of these little beaded necklaces again with some little charms attached with enameling on them. I'm not sure what they are. Got them. Nice enameling. I'm just not sure what they are. They look like vegetables to me or something. This one looks like it's got a heart. And I'm not sure about the other two. Next one we have. I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. This looks like um, either denim lapis or what do they call the other one? With the it's got a little white in it right here. On a cord, it's very heavy and very cold, so it makes the cord string nice and straight. It's fairly long. It's probably a 30 incher. I don't know. We're gonna see cord is 28 inches. Very 
very pretty stone. Very nice, smooth. Okay. Well, why do I keep doing that? I don't that? know. <laughs> you just love tangles, don't you? I do. I spent <laughs> half the night untangling this stuff. Here's a brass piece with silver, mixed metal, flower, framed. Here's the underside. It almost looks like it was a lid or something. It's on a brass chain. It's got an extender with a lobster claw clasp. It does have a mark that I can't read. Bear S F B A E R S F. So this is probably an artisan piece. Did you can see it? I want to test this. Yes, yeah, that's brass, and that's probably silver. But I haven't tested them. The next necklace is. Uh, lobster claw clasp, extender with a bead, nowhere on the metal, nice chain, and we have a unicorn and a horseshoe with rhinestones. Very cute. Mm, I'm trying to figure out what's on top here. The next is a lobster claw clasp. Your extender has this beautiful little bead. Glass bead, Rolo chain, more glass beads of the same design, and little hearts. Very pretty necklace. It looks good on both sides. Very cute. The next is Springwing Class Extender with a tag on the end that says Looks like Monet. It is a snake chain with these little rhinestone balls. Very pretty. After I finish picking my boogers. Sorry, I couldn't breathe. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Let me see that rosary again. I don't think it showed. I thought I turned it off to... Uh, off and y'all got to hear me cough. Anyway, here we go. Here's the rosary again. It's beautiful. It's signed Italy on the bottom there. Pearls are gorgeous. Here we go, honey. The next one is a multi-metal chain and it's got all lightning strikes like Harry Potter, black on his head scar on his head. It's mixed metal. You got gun metal, gold, and silver. Lobster claw class extender with the bead. The number of times lightnings has struck my house three times. Lobster claw class extender with the bead. Pretty silver tone chain. Nowhere. Comes down to this pretty little C pendant. With rhinestones, here's the back. Very good condition. The next is a Dinity necklace. No, it's a scarf necklace. It's like a Lariat. It is, I think, Chico's. You gonna check the pool? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Chico's. And this drops down through here, like a lariat. 
and then you wear it like that. Very cool Chico necklace. I like this one. Next is just a plain beaded necklace. I would like to put that on that. I think that's cute. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I got that on. And this necklace is 30 inches. Little Tweety Bird on this chain. Very cute. The next is a lobster claw class extender with a bead. Little mustache necklace in pink. And it's got, I think, a BFF on here. It does. BFF. Next is a heart necklace. It's got a little rhinestone right here. It's got a spring ring clasp. Tested that. Here's the back. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yes, it's magnetic. Let's imagine that's a little CZ in there, a rhinestone. Very pretty though. Next is a beautiful necklace. It's got a barrel clasp. It's got abalone bars. It comes to the beautiful abalone, mother of pearl like car floral shell pieces. It's very beautiful. Here's another one of these that has several pieces on it. This is New Mexico. This is Love one another as I have loved you. International something. Congress. International. Oh, let me just loop it. Looks copperish. Eucharisti, International Eucharisti Congress, Melbourne, 1973. This one is Leroy, and it's got a number 7347. Bexar. EQT Company, West Harding Boulevard, San Antonio, Texas. And then this one is a St. Anthony Pray For Us coin. Archdiocese. San Antonio. There you go, honey. Sorry about that. Right. Here's a beautiful blue corded necklace. We'll keep that to the side. Maybe find something to go on that. It's pretty. Here's a belt. It looks brass. It's a nice belt. Here's 
some necklaces. I'm going to show them on the uh, thing here. This first one is um, right up here. It's a choker, and then it comes down like that, and that, and then this piece ties with these bars. And that's a one, two, three, four, five layered necklace. Oops, oops, oops. I'm not trying to take off the whole thing. It's this one. That earring, sorry. necklace is the Copa Kelly and it is a beautiful necklace it's copper I only found one earring so far hopefully we'll find the other one I don't know is this a box yeah oh no we won't find the other one so it will go in the single earrings but here's the necklace there is no clasp. It is brass and copper. Very pretty, very well made. Copa Kelly. Okay, honey. Sorry to put you through that. Mm-hmm. Oh. We have some more. I'm gonna grab these. Me too. Our bins just about full after we get through necklaces. Okay. We have this necklace, which is beautiful blue glass beads. They're braided, and then they they paired it with a chain. And it's a fairly long chain. The chain is a dark color. And there's your necklace. Oh, this one just gave me a fit untangling. It's a large lobster claw, an extender with the bead. It's a corded necklace with these beautiful metal pieces. They're in gold and silver. And look at those teardrops in gold and silver. Um, rhinestone pieces. And these center beads here have that hammered look. And these are all, this is a very heavy necklace. And it was all tangled up. Make sure you have a part of it sticking out so it doesn't tangle out again. And it was tangled up with a real pearly necklace. I didn't see it. You must have already shown it. Yeah. Oh gosh, it was just a horrible tangle. I was up till midnight detangling. I wasn't. No, he left me. Here's a little toggle clasp brass necklace with pearls and rhinestones. There's rhinestone stations there. Very pretty, very dainty. A little crystal down here. It's a very pretty necklace. A little green crystal here. Very dainty. I really like that. It's understated. Here's another one that was tangled up with all that. You have an extender with a bead, lobster claw class, multi chained, and it's mixed metal. You've got copper, silver, and gold. Rhinestones, very ornate disc. It's a pretty necklace. Make sure you leave something this sticking out when you bag it. Okay. Uh, and then the last one we have on, this, on Sky is this 
one here that's corded. It feels like um, brushed cotton, not suede. It's got these beautiful blue teardrops and these brassy colored beads. It's in great condition. Okay, here is a belt buckle. We'll put that in the hobby lot. Here are two large pins. I mean, really pins that you put charms on. Super diaper pins. No. Oh my gosh. Super diaper pins. Save those for you, honey, one day. <laughs> Before Velcro. <laughs> Before Velcro, okay. Achieving starts with believing. That's cool. A little heart tack pen. Just let me get through the top. Uh, yeah, no Here's a little pearl tack pen. Here is a, I don't know. Director, if you want to be a director of something, there you go. Pin it on. It shall be. Okay, I think those are all the tacks. Oh, we had another one of these, too. I'll put this one in the hobby lot. Because it doesn't have a pin or anything. Okay. Next, I'm going to do uh, pendants or brooches. Here's one with the bull. Matt ZKE, I don't know who that is. This is a sterling silver one with a bird. Here's the back. I've already tested it, I know that's sterling. You bag that one separate. Here's another pen with a cross and lilies. Here is a pretty leaf brooch. Silver tone, nice detail. Here is some ballerina shoes. So cute. Little pin. Do I save that for Becky? Sure. She can wear that one at the recital. Mm hmm In celebration. Here is a little, let me get it stuck back in here. I can figure it out. Oops, I had it. Yeesh. There we go. Golf. It looks like golf and a butterfly. That's different. And here's another butterfly stick pen that looks like pewter. Could be silver. Let me just test it real quick. I know it does to me too. I don't think I rubbed enough. Do another one. Get a good rub in here. There that we go. ought to do it. If it does nothing well, right? Now you got it. We will see. No, I don't think so. Hmm. I think it's pewter. Is that the same size as you did the other one? No. Oh, okay. It's a different one. Okay. Use a different end. Okay. Okay. Next, we have three um, religious pendants. Here's the backs. Very good condition. Here's some money clips. 
This one says the Texas Mexican Railway. Texas Mexican Railway, and this one is just a dollar sign. It is marked on the back. Something there. Foster, USA. This one has no mark. This one looks like it's brass or copper. Let's just see. No, it's very magnetic. That one's not. Probably stainless, yes. There you go. Oh, here's a little elephant charm with a tassel. Very cute. Here we got another charm here. Here's a little charm with some, I believe, stones, but I don't know. I haven't tested them. They could just be rhinestones. They have a heart on them, on the clasp. Let's see what this metal does. No, it's copper based. Still a pretty little charm. Here's a little heart keychain. I'm gonna put that in the hobby lot. I think it's cute. Make a cute little necklace if you want to. We have some clips. Cufflinks. Cufflinks, I mean. I don't know what I'm saying these days. And then this is a matching set. Let me put this down. I have two matching sets and a single. I'll put those together. I'll put the single in curiosity. You can give me those back when you're done. Oh, okay. And put these back in with those cufflinks. Here's some tie clips. I'm not sure what this is, but look at the design on that. Old-timey car. Put those on there with it, too. And then give it back to me. Coin of Curiosity. That's where I keep all the cuff links. Okay. Oh, here's another tack pen. This one is... I don't know. P T I M I S T. P T I. Pitamist. Charter. Member. Optometrist. Optom. Opti optimist. Optimist. O P. Okay, optimist. Here is. Cancer Awareness with the Rose. I think this is an Avon. Yes, it is. Here is the Colts. Mm -hmm. Tack pen. Trademark. Very nice. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Yes, we have more pens. We have the lady with the red hat. We have... Espresso coffee cup, and this looks like stainless steel and copper and brass. And, oops, I'm trying to see if I see a mark in there. It looks artisan made, but I don't see any mark that tells me. Very cute, though. Espresso pen. Here's a pretty little I love you, mother little heart pen. Here's a shell pen, a floral shell pen. Very pretty. Here's the back. Here is another face pen. Have some more charms. And a pendant with a eagle. Here's that one. A little heart with a stone. Here's the back, it's in good condition. Here's a little butterfly, the kind that attaches. Oh, you took one that I hadn't shown. 
That last one. Yeah, because it's not a charm. Oh. That one is going in the hobby lot. This one is, oh, it's a pendant. So it could be a charm, I'm sorry, but here we go. Looks like it's pewter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just put it in with those. I Where it was, it was before, huh? <laughs> have another pen. It's a wreath. It's got rhinestones on it. Maybe missing one or two. Still very beautiful. Christmas. So it will be sold as is. Because they don't really show up that much anyway, unless you put a color in there. The rest are look like they're uh, Roy Borealis. Here's some red here and red there. I would feel that missing ones with the colored stone, like green or red. And here's another tack pen, angel on my shoulder, on its card. Now, is that all? I'm going to show this. This is clip-ons where you can make your own clip-on. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. <clears throat> we have rings. Let's get out the ring sizer. First one we have is a gunmetal fasted floral in excellent condition. Looks like it's never been worn. If you just put it on a ring sizer, it's a six and a half, but it will go up to and easy. Here's a little enameled shell. It's a five and a half. It's in excellent condition. Purple. This says we OUI. Very little. Doesn't even register. I have no idea what that is. There you go. One of those mid-finger rings. You doing? Uh, this one's an eight and a half. It's just a gold band. I'm looking for marks. First today I'm blind and I don't see anything. That little stone wasn't anything, was it? Um I think it's a rhinestone. Right? Oh, because it's not magnetic. Okay. I'll go it's check just... it. All right, let me go check it. Sorry. Okay, we have these rings that are stackers. Right here. They're gold tone. They are a size. They go down to a seven. Get them turned around here. Stack them the way you want to. They are brushed gold tone. They do have wear on them. They have little rhinestones. The little rhinestones are all there. And they're peach colored, fasted little beads. The next is a floral with a, a pearl in the center. Rhinestones. That's not magnetic, is it? No. Well, I didn't give that one a rub, did I? No. Copper, copper based. Nowhere. It's in good shape. This is an acrylic one. It is a size eight. We'll put that in the hobby lot. What size did you say this one was? I don't know, put it on there. It's a size eight. Eight. Yeah. You're welcome. We have some more stacking rings. These you could stack together. They are, well one's an eight and a half. The others are at a seven and a quarter. These three. This one's a larger one. This ring is a size three and a half. It's got a little blue stone. 
but it's cold. I don't know what it is though. It looks like it's in the brass setting. Is it magnetic? No. Do I test it? Yes. Silver. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, baby. No. It must be pewter. Mm, yeah. It's very dark. off okay and next is a little rainbow ring it is a size seven and a quarter for kids here's another little pretty child's ring it starts at a four and a half and it can expand it's in good shape Here's a heavy metal. It is a six and a half leaf design. Sits up. It's in pretty good 